Okay. Let's get this battery out of here. Right. And see if we can start the car without any problems. So here it is, 1988 Chevy Caprice Classic Rowan. room here is a lot of cars. So. The light's not very good over here, but I'm trying to make the best of it. Okay, so I put the flash on. It's not a very powerful flash, as you can see, but I guess you can get a better idea of some of the detail on the car. So, as you can see, it's pretty clean. It's got no cracks in the dashboard or any of the plastics. The chromes are in really good shape. I redid the roof. It's brand new. Chairs are in good shape. I mean, the seats. maybe a few cigarette burns here and there that I just couldn't fix but um, uh, the carpets are in the trunk I cleaned them and they look like new I just didn't put them I didn't want to get them dirty so this is new I replaced it it's it's brand new installed the tack 
The stereo is brand new. It's got GPS and navigation and all those uh, features that en enable you to, um, to connect uh, USB stick or play your uh, music from your phone through Bluetooth directly into the speakers. I installed brand new speakers. There's, as you can see, there's a remote key entry. I'll show it once I hook up the battery. Um, there's a parking sensors. There's a rear view camera that I installed and it displays on the screen of the stereo once you put it in reverse. I'll demonstrate that too. So that's pretty much it. Okay, let's hook up the battery and try to start it up. I hope this works. I only charged the battery about four hours since I got home this morning. That should work. Why wouldn't it? And there was light. The engine's really clean. I spent a lot of hours on it. Let's give it a try. I'm going to give it a few pumps because it hasn't been started in over a month, so uh, there's probably no gas left in the carburetor. It usually needs quite a few pumps. But once it starts, then there's no problem running the engine over. And there it is.
Everything's working. It's got navigation. Of course, it's not working here underground because it can't acquire the satellites, but it's there. Yeah, the screen's too bright to show. Let's see what happens if I cover the flash. Mirrors can be adjusted from the inside. They're all working. And that is both mirrors, as you can see. Okay, so let's put it in reverse. See how the parking sensor works and the rear view camera. Moving it slowly backwards. There's a remote that comes with the stereo. You can basically use it to select all functions. It's pretty easy to use, unlike some others that I've seen. Um, I got this, which is uh, pretty um, useful in case you run into any problems. Okay, so that's the ceiling light. That works too. Alright, so I guess that's everything. So I'll just have to uh, edit this a little bit and post it up on YouTube for you guys to watch. Once again, like I said, once it starts, um, it's easy to, to start it again.
Let's go check the engine again. One more thing I wanted to show you is the uh, keyless entry. It also works from here. And it also opens the trunk. Trunk is clean too, as you can see. I installed a couple of high-end speakers, which right now we're not hooked up to the to any amplifier because I didn't install one but that could be a project if you'd like still they sound pretty good give it a nice bass that you can hear in the car this is the old stereo I kept it just in case you know the show it's working it's in good shape See the rear view sent the uh, parking sensors. That's the camera right there. There's no rust, as you can see. I'll try to get under the car so you can get a bit of dirt. Not much that you can see. But So that's that. The tires are in good shape. They're clean and still got quite some tread on them. There is a few little scratches, some dings, but I guess it's what you'd expect from a car that's, uh, well, you know, 20-something years old. All right, so I'll, I'll take some pictures and put the ad up in 